this is gonna surprise you folks. My next guest is one of very few women who's ever stood watch protecting several American presidents. Please welcome today's female groundbreaker, former Secret Service agent, Evie Pomporis. <laughs> so, Evie, hi. Hi. So, how long did you work in Secret Service? Um, I was in the service of nearly, probably over 12 years. Prior to that, I started with the NYPD for a little bit. <laughs> How'd you get into this line of work? I think from when I was young, I had this, this sense. I always wanted to do something where I could serve and, and, and protect. Uh, I wanted to give of myself. And then also, I think also growing up as a young girl, like we grew up, my parents were immigrants and we grew up in uh, low-income housing in New York. And we were often, you know, very vulnerable. And I remember growing up feeling like that. And so I naturally sort of gravitated to kind of this idea of being independent and strong and pursuing a, a job in the criminal justice system. Wow. What presidents have you protected? I started under the administration of the Clinton administration. I started then and then was under Bush and then the current president, the one we have, President obviously Barack Obama. Um, <laughs> so I... Um, when you, first, when you first start, you don't really go to protection detail. When you first become an agent, you actually start in the field and you work cases. And then after you've kind of mastered that, mm -hmm. then they look at you and they say, would you like to protect someone on a full-time basis, a protection detail? Uh -huh. And that's when I said, you know what, if you're gonna send me to somebody, I'd like to go to the President of the United States. And then... <laughs> wow. You served in New York during 9-11, too, I understand. Were you awarded a medal? I was given the Valor Award, the Medal of Valor Award. Um... <laughs> when, you, when you start off, when I started as a field agent, I started in the New York field office, and it was a small, it was the, uh, the Seven World Trade Center, the uh, tower adjacent to the two towers. So when they evacuated everybody, myself and some colleagues, we did not evacuate. Instead, we went towards the, the, the base of the towers to try to evacuate other people, set up a triage. Um, we did everything we could to try to help as many people as possible. So that's how that's our valor work. How hard is it, though, for you guys to keep the public in check when you're protecting the president? Well, you know, it's funny you might ask because I could show you a demonstration if you'd like to. Evie's gonna show us how to pull this off. So let's bring out our show test dummy. Oh, man, I hate to call this. <laughs> uh, please welcome Michael. He just, poor Mike. All right. Come on, you're gonna be POTUS. You're not taking the bullet. I can be what? You're gonna be our POTUS, our president of the United oh. States. <laughs> president of the United States. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I could be that right here. So what? All right, which all right. Way? So you're our president. So typically, what happens is where we're most vulnerable is is when they're working rope lines, when they're shaking people's hands, and sometimes you'll get those people who are very happy to see them, and then they they give the hug, and then they don't let go. And so you need to help those people <laughs> let go. So, Crash, so, you're uh, gonna be our, our very overzealous say, man, person. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get <laughs> your damn hands off me, man. Wait, no, you're the president. You're the damn president. <laughs> is... Well, you're supposed to let him hug you, sir. He's a okay. constituent. All right. So we help them along very politely but subtly. You can use the finger and you take the finger and you try to bring that all the way back. Okay, or put the hand back, or you'll take the whole oh, wrist and you put the pressure and you bring that wrist all the way back. I'm sorry. I feel so sorry for this kid. I feel kid, like I'm man. back at work. Yeah, man, come on. Just, come on, man. Just hang in there, hang in there, because she's finna throw you, you in the flow now. Knuckle? You ready? Yeah. You could take your knuckle and then you could push it in behind the base of somebody's ear. That's a, a pretty good pressure point if somebody has that, so you push it in yep. here. <laughs> <laughs> and then they... My mama did that one. That's <laughs> Yo, come on, bring your... Yeah. <laughs> so you push in and then the person releases and then they keep moving. That's typically where you have the most interaction. This is probably gonna be politically incorrect to say, but you are absolutely 
the flyest Secret Service agent <laughs> I have ever seen in my entire life. And congratulations. Thank you for all your service and everything you do. I think you're absolutely fabulous. Thanks, Evie. Thank you, Michael. It'll be great. He touching me. He touching me. We'll be right back. <laughs>